Radio veteran and media historian John Cranfield kindly provided the background and much of the memorabilia to make this tribute possible. On teenage programs and what they used to call ladies programs was Peter Dean. Now he fairly shortly after opening came across to Channel 9 to read the news. Uh, here he is, the well, deputy sheriff. Is he? Uh, there was something uh, of a comic guy, talent in the young that. Peter Dean. Deputy, there's a fire! And he soon fire. found himself in the firing line in all types of shows. What'd you say? Fire! Fire! <laughs> well, you said fire. Yeah. Are you hurt, partner? Only in the leg. Only in the leg. Huh? Good thing got a spare. You know, Peter, just looking at some of this old film that I've found mm -hmm. and dug up, there's some fantastic stuff on this this film. You know? John, that's upside down. Oh, that's not bad. The real revolution in television came years ago, that's the introduction right, of videotape, and here's a little bit here, look. Oh, there's you when you had your own teeth and your own hair. You Oops, you can't oh, see. You there's can't, your teeth again. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see videotape like that, though. Oh, you yeah, should know that. all right then. But, you know, we were told, and we were given a specific instructions, specific as in Ocean, mm -hmm. Don't work with children. That was one. Yes. What was two? Number two was don't work with animals. Uh, and the third one. And the one, third one was. Uh, I know what the third one was. What? Go on, tell me. Don't work with puppets. Hmm. And here I am working with one. Hi. The Golden Key Awards was one of those rare events where fierce competitors, channels nine and seven, cast aside their rivalry for a joint telecast. Oh, I love it. I love the attitude. <laughs> Now, Cameron, what was that you were saying? <laughs> Peter Dean came to prominence in the early days of commercial radio. His 17 years with John Fryer on Can We Help You was one of the state's longest on-air partnerships. But he's perhaps best remembered as one of the founding faces of Telethon. He was the man behind all the silly things we had to do on Telethon, which was just a joy. Baby K. The one with the hairy legs and the dummy is Baby Dean. <laughs> and the one with the makeup's Baby Seaton. Here they are, <laughs> triplets. Oh, I wish I had a gun, a real gun. It would be fun to shoot the other two and be only one. We were meant to hold off throwing porridge into the last line of the song, but Pete saw it in himself with his mischievous manner to start throwing the porridge in the first line of the song. We're sitting in high chairs, we've got a plate of porridge. We had full plates, he had only a tiny bit in his, so any porridge, he, 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 I think he threw the first lot of porridge and then we descended on him. And what a mess there was. This makes a person very nervous. Ignore everything completely that's going on here in the fan room. We did crazy things like Mud wrestling. Oh, bloody Dino. They want me to go through the front through the front door. Why? <laughs> Good fun guy, a, re a regular guy, uh, just just a a good mate.
think it's um, his dedication to Perth and to people and the telethon. Um, he can't be replaced, I don't think. Sorry. <laughs> We're losing our mates. <laughs>